So hello viewers, suppose let's say there is a client who want to buy a new house in uh, this area. So this is a certain ward of a certain municipality and the client wants to buy a house in this area and he has got some conditions of uh, that house. Those conditions are the, that house, it should be in a particular area, it can be in any certain place and it should be within 900 meters of schools nearby schools it should be within 900 meters that house and it should be 500 meter to a restaurant if there are some restaurants then it should be within that 500 meter and uh, other important thing is that that house should be 60 meter of main road and suppose this is a main road and that house that the client wants is should be within that 16 meter and another thing is that it should be more than 100 meter squared in size and this area should be 100 meter square so those are the conditions of client and now your task is to find that suitable house for that client using GIS particularly talking about GIS this work is done uh, using overlay operation and you can say it a basic multi criteria decision analysis so here are multiple criteria and you need to decide that what will be a fair suitable house to your client so are we excited for this tutorial? Let's get it started there. So this is my study area. The first thing is the data. How you are going to get the data? It's simple. You just go to your, your, your desired study area and you download all those data. All those data means data related to schools, restaurant, highway. That's it. This data are needed. You need to download those data from OSM. Downloading data from OSM for desired area is quite simple. I have talked about that I have made a separate tutorial on this and also you can uh, prepare that data through this quick OSM plugin and there are lots of lots of tutorial available there using this plugin it will be quite uh, handy so you can do and you get the data first you get the data I have already uh, obtained the data for my desired area so I'm not going to uh, teach you here how you can download the data you just manage your data yourself and you once you manage your data you just come back here when you extract the uh, building data or some other kind of data for that desired area of interest uh, after extracting from those OSM you need to clip uh, by using your study area uh, save file as well so I already had this save file this is a uh, butter 13 and it is in the Belvas region so this is the place where the client wants to buy his property and I have downloaded all the schools, restaurant and building data highway of that area and once I had downloaded I had also done two things here just remember I had just first one uh, projected those data into uh, projected coordinate system you can see here this my coordinate system is uh, projected type and uh, keep it in your own desired zone I'm from Nepal and I have kept it, kept it in 44 north zone which zone you belong to from of that uh, place you just keep in that zone right once you project this data in projected coordinate system you need to clip it by your desired area of interest and you will reach here just make sure of those two things and those two things are done and now we'll be uh, doing the main part so the thing here is so these all are the buildings but uh, the client is saying that uh, he need uh, that building within 60 meter of main road so within 60 meter of main road means this is my main road and what you need to do is here you need to do buffer so that you directly go to processing toolbox if you don't have it just uh, right click this white space and you just find it here somewhere here processing toolbox just tick it and you just go to source and just uh, simply sort your buffer now in under vector geometry you can see here buffer just double left click it and you will get it now i just want this road just road road i just highway data so here is my highway and this highway data and since client is saying that it is it he wants in 60 meter so 60 meter so the logic of uh, converting the geographic data into projected was to buffer and do other kind of analysis so please make sure you just uh, project your data into uh, this projected coordinate system. If you don't know how to project it, we also have made 
separate tutorial about that in our other channel that is available here so make sure of that thing so and uh, distance is 60 meter and i'm just not going to do anything just uh, i want to show you here one thing is this uh, okay just buffer I just go to safety file and just you i will be keeping all this data in this uh, output and just write uh, road buffer let's say 60 make sure that this safe type safe type should be in ssp file so just save it and just run it and so i have my this buffer data so other thing here is that uh, you can see here that uh, here we here was also other other row data and these two data are mixing i don't want any row data that mix with each other so i want simply and simple row uh, buffer expansion so uh, here has been a mixing of those two data you if you have multiple row data from main row you can also see that two row will overlay each other and it won't uh, it won't be that much uh, helpful for our analysis so what we need to dissolve is that we need to uh, do is that uh, we need to dissolve those uh, intersecting areas right so what we can do here is so you again go to buffer and then uh, since we have used it recently you can find it here so everything will be same here there, there is uh, just who is that uh, highway this is my highway and it would be kept in 60 meters as you can see here you can change it as well and uh, just keep it by default one thing here this, this is the dissolve result yeah don't forget about this this is the dissolve result and then you just go to this buffer and you just go to set to file and i am just going to write it soon and just one more thing i am going to add here dissolve Just save it and uh, just run it. And now you can see the difference. Now there is a clean, smooth road and no intersecting part. But before it was like that. So uh, you need to make sure of that thing. If you have multiple highway data and it uh, is going to create a problem there. Now once road buffer is has been done, then uh, you need to make sure that so road underlying below this uh, expanded road, those buildings lying there. These are your uh, area pictures, right? So you can also do. So these are the buildings that the uh, client wants, and there are other conditions as well. So other conditions is uh, it's saying that within 900 meter of the schools. So within 900 meter of the school, then these are the school reason. We need to do buffer of these uh, things as well. So again, you go to buffer. These are also the schools. And then probably this is the that intersecting region from here to here. Now school is done. School is done. Now what you want to do is uh, you also have some of uh, within 500 meter to of, of a restaurant. We are not going to go with the restaurant now. Now since we have these two data, now we want the uh, intersecting region of this road and school because that intersecting region. And the buildings that fall within that region are the buildings that we want, right? So first, what you do is that you find the intersecting zone between this expanded road and these schools. So for that, what we have is we have within this region, uh, he want the house. Now, what we need to do is that we need to clip this portion. We need to clip this portion out of here. The intersecting portion between this uh, buffered road and this uh, buffered schools. So for that, what we need to do is we just uh, go to processing toolbox and we just type here intersect. And once you do intersect within that vector overlay, you are going to see this intersection tool. Just double left click it here. And just it's saying here is that input layer we will be keeping this, this input layer is the schools buffer. This schools buffer 90 meter. And uh, within this overlay, we will be keeping it this road buffer dissolve 60. What actually this overlay layer, uh, the value it will does is that it will just, this is the layer that will be overlaying it. And we are just going to get portion of this one. 
and for this to get uh, do this intersecting analysis and input here within this region within this region the raw data we are going to get so we are going to keep those two things here like this and other thing is that we just don't need to do anything just to go here and just simply save it you just simply what right is you just right here it's about uh, school and road intersect just keep in uh, just make sure it should be all should be in save file yes it's click and just save it there and just click and run and you just once you do it you are going to get a person you just need don't need other reasons as well now so actually this is the reason that client is trying uh, client is trying to buy the house and um, you can see this is the reason that why we want house and other kind of things now we got the desired uh, space of this is the reason between of intersecting highway and the school that the client is trying to buy the house so but we have not got one thing here now we need to do one thing here and the thing that we need to do here is so we basically have got let's uh, do one thing here just uh, try to change the symbology and just uh, this reason just uh, we just tick it i will be just unticking else everything is and just uh, we also do one thing here and just install this, this is, and uh, okay so actually this is the reason that the client wants it, want the houses from so let's do one thing let's uh, clip all the houses from this reason from this reason we are going to clip all the houses and once we extract the houses from that reason this reason that house is what we want and later on we'll work with uh, for that restaurant so let's first extract the houses from this reason so what we uh, are trying to do is you just uh, go again you go to processing toolbox and uh, uh, this time we are going to go by another method and and the thing is we are going to extract the location of buildings from this uh, area of interest so what we are going to uh, search here is extract by location extract by location is uh, the tool that uh, we will be using for this purpose and it's under vector selection extract by location simply double left click it and now extract features from we want features from building uh, we are sure about that thing we want building and uh, we just want to intersect by comparing the features from this school rule intersect uh, be careful while using this tool about extract by location it's saying that which location whose data uh, you want i want the data of buildings this reason so i have choose your building and uh, where the features and using which kind of property geometric property using intersect means those intersecting layer and that intersecting layer is this road school intersect right so this is the reason that intersect with the buildings and I want the buildings of this reason only that's what I mean to say and for that uh, once these things are done you just go to safety fire and just you save here you just uh, keep it here uh, it's about uh, school road and buildings let's say here uh, intersect Uh, it's simply uh, we keep here uh, buildings buildings intersect okay you just save it there and just you run it so now we are just uh, we have got something all this until now we can see here now you can see the desired portion of this so there is a huge difference between clip and uh, that the tool that I have used if you had clipped then you would not get this uh, full portion if you had clipped you just get the half of it but i don't want to do that i just want to see the location of the houses so i have not used that clip tool as you could also have used that clip tool instead of that uh, intersect so there is huge difference so now we got the building uh, data so now we have the two conditions left 
we have satisfied this 100 meter, 900 meter case and we have satisfied this but we have two cases remaining now the other thing here remaining is this restaurant here are three restaurants within this region and client is saying that he want the house within that uh, restaurant is within 500 meters and we are again, again going to do the same process we will be buffering it and once we buffer it and we are going to use again that uh, extract by location and within that buffer we are going to dispose so actually those are the things that we will be following now you see that what you do is that you just uh, again search here for buffer now we need to be very very careful here because now our portion is now our criteria has become is becoming narrow so this buildings around this region and this building around this region are the buildings that the client wants so what we are going to do for that for that what we will be doing is we just are going to use that tool that we had used previously and the tool is extract by location so you can also so look, you can see here recently used or uh, you can also go to that vector uh, over the extract by location you are just going to get, get it just extract by location and you vector selection you are going to get it just double left click it here and now it's again saying is extract features from I want the features from this uh, it's simple i want the features from this school road building intersect from these buildings i want the features i want the data from this building and within this region and the thing is it should overlay intersect uh, this restaurant buffer 500 meter what i mean is that i want the buildings of this buildings I want but from within this uh, region only this intersector region only so what can you do is that you just use this intersect tool and just give you this tool here and you just go to simplify and you just keep it here let's say buildings dash criteria I have satisfied all the criteria and uh, lastly uh, this is the buildings that criteria that find them I have given now just simply click on done and you once you do that you just uh, untick everything untick everything now you can see here you can see here before that uh, these were the buildings these were the buildings reason uh, that school highway had followed and these are the buildings including restaurant so now one thing is quite for sure and that thing is that these are the buildings within this region or within this uh, location within this uh, location the client wants the house from and now other important thing that the client is saying is that he's saying that uh, that area of the house should be more than 100 meter square in size now we need to calculate the area of that house for that you just open the attribute table of that uh, data and that uh, you just uh, go to this um, or if that open fill calculator and you just uh, type your area uh, and it will be in square meters so I will be keeping it output fill type you can keep it keep it in decimal because it will be in area and you just go to geometry and you just go to area and uh, yeah first we'll find the area and just press on ok now we can see the area here right and just save it here so we have calculated the area but uh, since the client is saying that he wants the building of 100 meter square size so uh, you since your data this data is already in uh, uh, what's called in a system it's in it is in meters so by default you will get the area in meter square in 100 m. now the main thing is that we want the building of that building that is in 100 meter square so now we will be uh, adding some kind of filter things here just double left click, click here and you just go to uh, you just go to here one of the 
important toolbars here the user status source and you go to here uh, provider feature filter you just go to query builder and you just type here uh, just double click it here area uh, what was the condition area area is uh, more than 100 meters and you just uh, keep it here greater than equal to and just type it here 100 area of that house will be greater than it's a uh, greater than it's saying so I will I want to be keeping it equal to greater than 100 meter square 100 square meter just press some um, uh, okay and now we will uh, just uh, let me do one thing okay you can see the difference here I just apply here now you can see here the some of the features have been uh, removed from here or, or you can also see the attribute table here all the data previously there were last number 121 data here now we just have 30 data here and this 30 data are the data having the buildings uh, area more than 100 square meter so finally these are the buildings from where the client wants to buy the house now you can you have satisfied all the clients desired conditions you can take that client to uh, these uh, locations and buy him the house that he wants so I hope that you have learned something new today. Uh, this is my first uh, part of this uh, multi criteria decision analysis or special analysis part. In coming days, I am going to be more video on this topic. So stay tuned. Thank you viewers for watching this tutorial. We are going to meet soon in other upcoming days. Thank you so much.